Hey fans of The Leftovers, Damon Lindelof is here to tell us all about season three, and it's pretty crazy, but Kevin might actually be losing his mind. The end of season two saw Kevin having quite a crazy experience. Where do we pick up in season three? He's seeing this woman who died and is interacting with her and he's not sure whether she's a figment of his imagination or she's like some sort of demonic entity. So season three is not about Kevin trying to determine whether or not he's crazy. It's about Kevin struggling with the fact that everything that you just described felt very real to him. Mm -hmm. And if it was real, what is he supposed to do about it? Have you been noticing that I've been um, kind of losing my mind? What was your initial sort of intention, if you can even call it that, with The Leftovers and how long it could go? When the second season ended and the future of the show was unclear, largely because nobody's watching it, this idea of being one of those shows that kind of always is living on the bubble and you don't know if there's gonna be another season or not, as a viewer of television, that's always frustrating for me because I don't want to invest in a relationship if if that relationship could end at any moment. So when we got the call that we'd like to pick the show up, it was Tom and I, both Toms, uh, Tom Speziali and Tom Parada and I, who basically said, you know what, it feels like we're closer to the ending now than we are to the beginning, and that basically means that there's just one more season. So I'd rather write a, a terrible ending with intention than a great ending without it. I'm sorry, ma'am, but unless you have a wristband or a dispensation form, I'm gonna have to ask you to turn around. I have 35 pounds of plastic explosive. Will that work? What do you think will go down in season three of The Leftovers? Let us know in the comments below and keep your internets dialed to HitFix on uprocks.com.